Introducing the 2025 Audi SQ6 e-tron, can performance and style coexist in an electric SUV? Audi recently unveiled the 2025 SQ6 Sportback e-tron at the Paris Motor Show in late 2024, showcasing its dedication to electrification despite slow electric vehicle sales in Europe. This model is a sportier version of the standard Q6 lineup, which includes the regular Q6 Sportback e-tron. Built on the premium platform electric, PPE, the SQ6 Sportback e-tron shares its foundation with both the Q6 e-tron and the Porsche Macan, the latter being an exclusively electric vehicle. In terms of design, the SQ6 Sportback e-tron features sleek matrix LED headlights that allow for customizable daytime running lights. The traditional single-frame grille has been closed off, as electric vehicles don't need extensive cooling, but the side vents still function to improve aerodynamics. The air intake at the front also enhances the vehicle's overall drag performance. The vehicle's profile resembles its SUV sibling, yet the A-pillars are more inclined, and the roofline is lowered by about 1.4 inches. At the rear, the design draws inspiration from the Audi TT and includes broad OLED taillights that stretch across the tailgate. With a drag coefficient of 0.26, the SQ6 Sportback e-tron is more aerodynamic than the SQ6 e-tron SUV, which has a coefficient of 0.28. Inside, the SQ6 Sportback e-tron boasts a sporty atmosphere, featuring bolstered bucket seats designed to keep occupants secure during fast cornering. The dashboard includes a large curved display in front of the driver, alongside a touchscreen for the infotainment system. Additionally, a third screen is available for the front passenger, enabling them to view navigation, browse the internet, or watch movies without distracting the driver. The rear seat can accommodate three passengers comfortably, despite the lowered roofline. Under the hood, the SQ6 Sportback e-tron is equipped with a dual-motor setup, delivering a total of 489 PS, 482 horsepower, powered by a 100 kilowatt-hour battery. With an 800-volt architecture, the electric crossover can charge at DC stations at speeds up to 270 kilowatts, allowing it to go from 10 to 80% in approximately 21 minutes under ideal conditions.